my dear students. Good morning and a very happy day to you. This is the fifth successful week of e-learning program of Pakistan International School Qatar. We are studying second lesson, weather and climate. And I am your teacher of Sana Rashid with a new topic, the factors that cause different climates. Let us begin our work. My dear students, today our study objective is to study the main factors that cause different climates. My dear students, temperature is a huge factor that determines the climate of a place. Temperature and climate of a place depends on some other factors too. These factors are distance from the equator, altitude, the height above the sea level, proximity, nearness, to sea, ocean currents, rainfall, air pressure, and direction of winds. Let us see these factors one by one. Distance from the equator is one of the deciding factors in deciding the temperature and climate of a place. The places located closer to equator are warmer and wetter then the place is located away from the equator. For example, as we move away from the equator, the temperature starts to drop. And ultimately it is bitterly cold at north and south poles. Altitude, height above the sea level is another factor to determine the climate of a place. The higher we are from the sea level, it is colder than the plain areas. That is why mountains are always cold. It can be understood with the example of Mount Kilimanjaro in Kenya. It is a 5,200 meters high lofty mountain. It is located almost on the equator which is a warmer and wetter region, but still its top is always covered with snow due to its height. Proximity or nearness to sea greatly affects the temperature of the place. Temperature of the seas does change not very much throughout the year. Therefore, the places closer to oceans and seas have cooler summers and milder winters. Let us see this table to understand this aspect. In the month of January, that is winter, Karachi, located on the coastline of Arabian Sea has 18 degrees Celsius temperature. While Lahore has 12 degrees Celsius because it is located away from the sea and Siberia has an extremely cold temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius because it is located even farther from the sea. On the other hand, in the month of July, that is summer, Lahore and Siberia are showing much increased temperatures than the conditions of winter as compared to Karachi. An ocean current is a huge movement of sea water in a direction. Cold ocean currents cool down the temperatures of warmer areas. Whereas, the warm ocean currents moderate the temperature of cold areas. For example the cold Humboldt ocean current keeps the South America cool. And, the warm current of Gulf of Mexico keeps West European coast warmer than it should be. Rainfall is a huge factor in determining and affecting the temperature of a place. The areas with higher rainfall are less hot than the places that receive less or no rainfall. For example, Atacama Desert in Chile is the driest place on earth, because it has not received rainfall for many centuries. On the other hand, the equatorial region receives rainfall throughout the year, so, the temperature there, remains almost the same throughout the year. We all carry huge weight of air above us but, we don't feel it. This weight is in the form of a huge column of air above us. This weight is about 230 kilograms above each of us. This air pressure is not steady. Average air pressure is about 1 kilogram per centimeter. The high pressure pushes down on the surface of the earth and produces a fine dry weather. But, low air pressure usually creates stormy wet weather. Winds coming from north or south make places cold because these are coming from the cold areas. 
When the winds cross over the sea, they pick up large amount of water and produce rain. In northern hemisphere the winds blowing from south are warmer. And in the southern hemisphere the winds blowing from north are warmer. Places and valleys often do not get winds and generally remain hot because the mountains keep valleys sheltered. My dear students. That's all for today. I hope today's class was informative and you learned some new things. And I am happy that I could play my part. See you next time. Take care. Thank you. And Ali Hafiz.